and I, and I, yes, I, I, I spoke on this multiple times. You know, my reason for leaving, I had, uh, it was a collection of different things, but the main reason was because, you know, the business wasn't right. First and foremost, every every deal that we had, which was two, we had two different label situations, just to, to clarify things. First label situation that we had was with uh, Universal Motown. That was the first right. deal that we had for D Block. We had uh, the deal was structured for a She Glute album and a J Hood album. Okay, she came right. out with his first album, then I was scheduled to come out. For all of those that don't know, Universal Motown is a uh, a major record label. So I was set to come out and release an album on the major. What happened was Sheik was displeased with the outcome of his album, so he decided to leave. And um to get a deal with Koch Records, which was an independent company. All right, so the right. thing with that is where I went wrong at, they could take the independent route because they had dropped the album prior. They 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 was running with Puff Daddy, so people knew who they were. So that that could have worked out beautifully, you know what I mean? But they talked me into leaving Universal, like I said, which was the major label, which I really needed to get where I was going to go because they would have gave me that push. Yeah, they they talked me in, out yeah, of, you know, like they talked me into leaving there and going with Koch. The chic exact words was, listen, man, come over here with us on Koch, and you could get $3.50 versus you staying on Universal getting 75 cents an album. So I'm like, listen, this, right. that's a no-brainer. You ain't got to tell me no more. I'm the, y'all the big homies, whatever you say, whatever. We out. So I left Universal, went to Koch, and with Koch, the deal was structured the same way, a chic Luch album and a J-Hood album. Okay, all right. right. Now, now, at this time, I was on fire. I was the hottest thing smoking. You know what I mean? Like, right. Which yes. no, no you were. Which you were. You know what I mean? So, and what Sheik did, see, this is what people don't know. At the end of the day, D Block is Sheik's record label. Everybody would probably think that it's, it's Kiss's, he's a front man of the life, so they think, yo, Kiss own it. Nah, it's Sheik. That's Sheik's label. You know what I mean? Right. So, um, we got the deal. They didn't want. One album without the other. They wanted both. They wanted a Sheik album and a J-Hood album. So we signed the deal. Okay, now what Sheik told me was, yo, listen, everybody wants my album to come out first since I'm more of a short shot. I was out already. So I'm going to drop my album first. Which I knew that couldn't have been too true because, like I said, I was the highest thing smoking and everybody was waiting for Tell from the Hood. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? I know he's lying, but I'm going to be a team player. You feel me? Ah, right, whatever. I right. let him drop again. Let him drop again, and um, okay. What happened was during the time that I had uh, signed the 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 deal for Koch, I was waiting on my events, and it just so happened while I was waiting on that advance, which was three weeks, three to four. And I say maybe even four weeks, four to five weeks. You're not supposed to wait realistically no longer than seven days. A week and a half to get your advance after you sign the contract. So they had me waiting right. longer than what you were supposed to be waiting. Um, somebody took money out of the account, and I had to wait for them to replace that money for me to get my advance, which was total BS. You know what I'm saying? So they was jerking me around from from the gate. So um, right. my house ended up burning down. Lost yeah, everything. Yeah, I read about that store where you had the money saved in there, correct? And yeah, I had a, had a couple bucks saved. I lost everything. Yeah. lost the money. lost, like, Fifteen thousand dollars worth of studio equipment that I had in the career, lost everything. Okay, now yeah. um, it took for that to happen for them to release my funds for my uh for my advance, and not only that, I ended up going down to Koch, which was something that I normally didn't do because I let them take care of everything. But due to the fact that I felt like they wasn't uh giving my project the same attention that they was a Sheik Luch album, and I'm speaking about them, meaning like Sheik and SP and them. You know, when, when it was time for Lucius to drop his album, he used to go down there all the time and check on things and make sure that they was doing what they're supposed to do. But when it was time for my album to drop, it was none of that. So something right. just told me to go down there and check on things. So I went down. And it just so happened that when I went down there to speak to the general manager of Koch, which was Alan Grumpler at the time, you know, uh, upon me walking into the office, he said, yo, I'm sorry to hear about everything that happened. You know, the guys came down here and uh, they let us know exactly what was going down. Uh said your house burned down and um, you needed help, so I hoped the check that we gave you was enough to help. I'm like, what check? What are you talking about? I was totally, like, dumbfounded at what he was saying. Like, he was, yo, the $60,000 that we cut for you, they came in and said you needed help, so we gave them a check. I'm like, 60, what? They're like, yo, 60K. I'm like, man, I ain't, I don't know what you're talking about. 
He like, what? You didn't get that? I'm like, nah, man. So I left. I'm like, hold up, man. These dudes cut these dudes a $60,000 check to give to me, and I didn't even get none of that? After that, that I was like, yo, that that raised eyebrows. That was a red flag and everything. So I'm like, you know what? On top of all the other stuff that's going on, you know, that I was already dealing with with them, that was the icing on the cake. I'm like, yo, it's time to Understood. get up out of here. You know what I mean? So after that, my mind was made up. I wanted to leave. So now the whole beef was people have the misconception of I was mad because my album didn't drop. That's why I left. I was beyond that at that point. I was beyond me being upset because my album didn't drop. I was upset, and I was dragging the chain and doing all, all that other stuff, like I said, from a, co a collection of different reasons. I was not only frustrated, I was heartbroken, you know, being young, dudes that I was looking up to. I felt like they betrayed me. They wasn't. Uh, they didn't have my best interests at heart. You know, um, a lot of different things, and I just wasn't old enough to articulate myself in a well enough manner to to not display emotion. Right. You know, so um, right. they didn't want to let me out of my contract. You know what I mean? So a lot of a lot of I had, I had at least like five different labels that was interested in signing me. So they were trying to hold me until no one would be interested in, in me anymore. So that's right. where the whole chain dragging and all that other stuff came in, because they didn't want to let me out, and I just got frustrated. Because I'm like, yo, come on, if you're not making no money, how y'all going to get mad at me and don't want to let me out so I could go make money elsewhere? And I just got, I was upset over that. You know, and the, and the funny thing is...